Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So as promised, I did say that we were gonna do a packing vlog. Um, I'm not gonna do a full rundown of every single item of clothing that I bought because we'll be here all night. And to be honest, we've bought the kids quite a few bits, but for me and Jake, I've only catered for like eight outfits um, because I intend to use the laundry service at the hotels because they're really, really good. Um, just to give you um, an example, when you put your washing into the laundry um it's all done via an app so as soon as you put it on it lets you know the time that you've put it in and then it will it will basically let you it will alert you when that when that cycle is done and you just go and put it into the tumble dryer or whatever you want to do um and then bring your clothes back so that is the plan last time we went in 2016 i really enjoyed the process of like cleaning our clothes which i know is really sad for a lot of people that are watching the channel but i like it um so let's get started so on the subject of cleaning and organizing the clothes i read up on the universal forum that endless summer dockside and surfside don't have a lot of storage space so there's no sort of there's no big place to hang your clothes. So everybody advised to buy a clothes storage, I don't know what it is, like organizer. So what you do is you lift it up, it comes in five compartments and you hook it on over a curtain rail or any type of like hook that you've got in the room. And by the looks of things, it does work perfect. Just be careful when ordering these sort of things. Um, I have noticed that some of them don't come with hangers. They come with like ties. This one actually comes with the metal hangers. So I thought they were, um, it, it was more practical. So I'm gonna use that when we get to Universal especially, not so much probably when we're at the Disney resorts because there is a bit more storage and hangar space. Um, but I thought that was a good tip, but I will let you know how we get on with it when we get there. Uh, the next thing I bought, and this was a TikTok hack that I saw, and it seems to have gone viral, so I thought I'd give it a go because I am a sucker for watching TikTok. Um, so, this is a uh, shoe organiser, so I don't know if you can see that. So it's got six compartments, three rows of six compartments, and I will basically use those every day for our outfits whilst we're away. Um, I thought it'd be good to organise, Mat especially Matilda and Blake's clothes. And again, that comes with metal hangers to hang across a curtain rail or any type of hook that you've got in the room, it should work. And again, I will let you know what that's like when we get there. I may not even use it, but TikTok sucker made me buy it. So when thinking about the plane, um, I think I've talked about this a hell of a lot in our vlogs. You have seen how stressed I've been with Blake being on the plane for the first time. Blake really struggles with his attention span. He can normally sit still for five minutes max. So sitting on a plane for nine hours and 20 minutes is um, going to be interesting. So I have read, watched so many people, so many vlogs, so many TikTok hacks, and this is what I've come up with for Blake's um, carry-on. So I got him this Lego set and I got it from Toy Master online. It isn't an official Lego, it's like blocks, I think it's called building blocks or something, but I thought it'd be great. It cost £10 and it actually pulls out here um, and there are Lego pieces so he can build things with his Lego and it stays quite safe and it actually comes with a handle too. So that's the first thing I bought for his first five minutes to keep him occupied. Um, next I bought him a, he loves Lego. He loves the Star Wars Lego game. He's really into his Lego games at the moment. So I purchased this Lego 1001 sticker book, which I got from Amazon for 5 99 and it's got lots of little activities in there. He'll be mostly sticking the stickers to everything and probably the air hostesses as they walk past. But as you can see, there is loads and loads and loads of fun stickers in there for him. So I'm hoping that he likes it. 
there's another five minutes um the next thing i bought um i saw these on tiktok there was a lady selling busy books i don't know if anybody's ever heard of them um they come highly recommended and i had fun making these because they come um you have to assemble them yourself so this one is the traffic busy book and it is velcro so all these little parts come apart they're all velcro so he can tell me what the um the traffic lights are and how they work there's workmen there's vehicles um there's little puzzles in there for him to do there is all of the planets and he literally just peels it off finds out which planet it is and sticks it on like so so i bought him traffic life skills again i think this one's quite fun so what you should eat and what you shouldn't eat <laughs> the good and bad um your body parts dressing for the day and the other one i bought which is a slightly different design is um a quiet book so these are busy books and then this one is a quiet book again the same concept so it's all velcroed in and there's colors there's numbers there's fast cars all things that blake loves blake loves the bus so that one i think he'll enjoy i think he's going to enjoy all of them but i do think he's going to like this one the best so my next hack and i hope it works when we get on the plane is um about a month ago i watched a video of stacy solomon's sister who i follow on instagram so Stacey Solomon's sister um, actually uses this as a car hack, but I've amended it to use on a plane. This is a shower bag, a travel shower bag. I got this from AliExpress for $2.99 um, and I will show you what I've put in it. So in the front here is some McDonald's Happy Meal Guess Who. I'll get to that hack again in a minute or that tip um and if you open this up she says it comes with a hanger so you can hang it over the seat the front of the seat as you can see here and it is filled with lots of different things for blake and i've done one for matilda too um to keep nice and tidy so that everything doesn't fall out so in the top pocket, so this will be filled with treats. This is probably going to have sweets in. It may have a Lunchable in, something that they can eat whilst on the plane. They've each got a notebook. This one is Blake's and it's from Smiggle. I got this in the sale for $4.99. It smells of blueberries. It's absolutely beautiful. It smells so nice. It's got the old fidget toy on the front and then it's just a general notebook on the back so that's been put in there the next compartment has got some coloring and some more stickers so he's got these little car stickers he's got some activity books which i think i paid like two pound for from the works but just more stuff to entertain him I got him some dinosaur erasers. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see those. They're really cute. Blake won't use those for cut for like rubbing out. He'll just use them to play with. Um, and then I got some lucky bags. Is that what you call them? I think it is. So it's actually block tech. I didn't realize that block tech there. That's actually the make of the Lego set that I bought him. So this is actually going to work out really well. So I got him two of those and it's just a lucky dip. No one knows what you get. So he can make that on the plane with Jake's help. And then in the final compartment, I got him a Marvel surprise. Um, it's not a kinder surprise, is it? It's like a... It's, if it, is it going to focus? There you go. It's a Puzzle Pal, I believe. It's a Marvel's Puzzle Pal. 
3D puzzle eraser. So I got him that and I got him a stretchy dinosaur, which we all know Blake's gonna love. Anything to fiddle with. He loves to have anything in his hands to fiddle with. So this is really, really good for him on the plane. And then on to Matilda's, which I will quickly show you. Same thing, pink one this time with the metal hook to go over the um, seat in front of us. Matilda also has the notebook and doesn't smell as good as Blake's. Hers is like bubblegum's um, scent. His is blueberry, it's lovely. Um, but again, I've put, Matilda has got some lovely Smiggle pens that actually change color. They've got like a special um, eraser that changes the color of um, the picture, which you'll find entertaining. Matilda loves drawing, so I got her a mini sketchbook which I thought she could have fun with on the plane. And I got her a mystery squidgy. Matilda's, anything that Matilda can open. Since she was a little girl watching YouTube, she used to love watching people open Kinder Surprise eggs. So she's a sucker for opening a mystery box. Um, so yeah, there's Matilda's and in the bottom of Matilda's I again she's got one of these lucky bags and I believe it is Is it called Friday Night at Freddy's or something? Five Nights at Freddy's. There you go. That shows how up with the kids I am um, And it's a little key ring so she'll enjoy opening that and I got her another squishy mystery box because love it so in terms of the travel box uh the, the travel bags aliexpress was really really decent for that these were on amazon i think for 15 pounds and i i think i paid either 2.99 or 3.99 for them and they come with the handle and they're pretty sturdy for something off aliexpress you can probably get them off timu as well but i don't have that app and i also purchased these little containers one for blake with mickey mouse on and one for matilda with minnie mouse on these are really really good so they detach each one detaches and they've all got lids so you can put some sweets in there i've bought some sweets from marks and spencers um, because we love their jelly sweets and i will fill these before we go um blake likes raisins so he'll have raisins as well in his I bought them each a activity pack um, from Primark and these were, they did have a price, these were £2.50 each and they come with colouring pencils, stickers and activity books. Blake's got a Marvel comic one and Matilda has a Stitch one and we all know she loves Stitch so I'm on to a winner. Um, and then last but not least for Matilda um, she likes secret codes and this book was on Amazon it was $3.99 I believe I paid for it and it is just full of lots of secret coding that she can get her teeth into while she's on the plane and I think Jake's going to help her with it. In terms of entertainment British Airways have just updated that they are now doubling their entertainment system and that went live on the 3rd of august i believe so we will be um checking that out and letting you know and giving our review really of how that goes down because apparently there's double the amount of children's entertainment on the on the plane but there really wasn't that that much to begin with so we will let you know how that goes my final hack for the plane is we went to mcdonald's last week <laughs> and we bought Happy Meals, and in McDonald's at the moment, they are doing games of Dobble. Now, Blake loves Dobble. This is like his favorite game, and for some reason, he's very, very good at it. And um, I bought two, Mac uh, two Happy Meals, and then I cheekily went to the front desk and asked for another pack, which we got. So they're slightly smaller than a normal double, so they're really good for Blake to hold. So if you've got smaller children, this pack of dobbles really, really good. 
um, and with the two packs it comes as a full size double so you're saving yourself probably about eight quid um, by going to McDonald's and just buying some so we've got our double which will go in the hand luggage and I'm sure we'll have plenty of fun on the plane with that and I've just put them in a ziplock bag in terms of headphones they supply headphones on the plane but we have bought Blake some Mickey Mouse headphones which were from Smiggle and yes they were expensive I think they were about 25 pounds but we think that's a good investment for Blake because I don't think he would use the ones on the plane and these are noise cancelling and they've got the the right jack on them as well which is what we need um me and Jake are taking our phones so if the kids want to watch something we are downloading stuff onto their phones Matilda's got her tablet Blake has his Amazon fire tablet whatever it is um and I have purchased these which are little adapters that basically you stick your phone onto and they will clip on to the table um so if you want them go onto AliExpress I paid $2.99 for them and that is it for the kids I think they're going to be well entertained if not I think I'll cry because I've spent hours of research and hours of time buying this stuff so hopefully they like it and it wasn't a waste of money let's hope so now we are going to talk about sort of the essential things that were on the list that everybody on it's orlando time on facebook told us that we should buy um, as you all know it's going to be boiling hot over in florida um, so the first thing i bought was a couple of handheld fans these fans um, are usb chargeable so it's not it's, it's not battery operated which is much better so we can just charge them in the evenings and they come with free settings sounds um <laughs> and i believe this goes red when they need charging so i thought that was a good buy but i will let you know as and when if they're rubbish or not or if they last the charge and the craze at the moment if you watch people in florida that are on holiday are neck fans um so these are the neck fans i bought these were from aliexpress and they were four pound fifty now these really are cheap like knock off nigels um and to get them to work i have to like hit them together so i'm not even going to attempt to turn them on or should i oh it's not oh so they've got no blade in them um, so Matilda can't get her hair stuck around them but they come again with the free settings and actually they're quite powerful and I think if you've got your um, wet towel your cooling towel and then this I think this will be quite good but again I'll let you know but yeah AliExpress they really were cheap I ended up getting a refund on all of these because they were so bad and talking about wet towels I got a pack of four from Amazon for £10. So many people had recommended these. They come in the four colours. The green, the grey, the blue and the pink. And they all come with a plastic wallet and a lovely little keychain. Um, which will go on Jake's backpack. So you can just pop them away. You literally soak these in water and they cool you down. Um, and with those neck fans, I think they'll be alright. I have purchased from AliExpress. I mean, I should be an ambassador for AliExpress. Maybe I should get a commission. Um, these cute little um, chains for your sunglasses. And if I just get one of them out, I'm always losing my sunglasses. If you've been here a while, you will know from our Disneyland Paris vlog, I was really angry that um, I lost my sunglasses on the first day. So I won't be losing any sunglasses this time because I've got sunglasses chain. And again, they've got like the cute Mickey. Oh, that's mini. Mini ears. I didn't realise they had mini on them. That's well cute. And the Mickey hands. And I got some for all of us. And yes, people will think that's really crazy. But trust me, when you lose your glasses 
you'll be the annoyed one um i've got this fast and up reload because we're going in august and it's really really hot you can dehydrate very quickly when i went to florida in 99 i got really poorly i actually got really dehydrated and ended up being taken to the first aid station at disney and being pushed around in a wheelchair by my best friend because i was that ill so we're not going to have that this time so this is mixed berry these were really expensive i paid 20 pounds for four but they come in i think there's 20 in a there's 20 of them in a pack um but they are like a bit like dirolite so they've got electrolytes and vitamins in so they'll be handy to have just to hydrate us when we're around the parks and you can get free water free ice around the park so we can just pop one of these tablets in and they dissolve really quickly talking of drinks i think most of you that have been to florida or been on holiday where it's hot and want to save a bit of money we've got these from um aldi these are the aldi version but you can get them from anywhere and they're the really concentrated drops of squash so i got the orange and mango and the blackberry and blueberry so now we are going to talk about first aid my feet normally get ruined while i'm in disney and i think a lot of people experience the dreaded disney rash that you get on your legs um so i'm equipping myself with everything so our first aid kit is filled with paracetamol ibuprofen bandages antihistamine um antiseptic wipes plasters is all in there and then for the added extra i've actually gone and bought a load of compede plasters from amazon they are not the co the compede brand but they work exactly the same so they've got that like that gel um and i've got them in different sizes for us because you never know with trainers and sandals and things whether you're going to get um blisters and again i've just bought a generic pack of the 40 fabric water resilient plasters because no doubt one of us is going to fall over and hurt themselves i have bought the um lip balm and it is long lasting relief from dry lips because you know when you're on the plane you really do get dry lips so i bought some of that to take with us the usual sun cream i bought now a lot of people were recommending the aldi version of the um sunscreen spray it's normally really expensive this is factor 50 and i think we paid three pounds 75 i think the bottles were so we bought a few bottles of the factor 50 we bought a few bottles of factor 30 after sun some kids waterproof factor 50 also aldi and then i have purchased because i get eaten alive by the mosquitoes in florida after bite pen and some repellent and you watch i'll put this all on and they're still eating me alive so hopefully you're sticking with me um i am now going to go on to some of the stuff the important stuff obviously um the ears so i have purchased a few new ones we have these glittery blue ones i love these and i think i'm gonna wear these to hollywood studios donald and daisy ears i thought they were well cute and these are so pretty look at these cinderella they're gorgeous they are i absolutely love these so me and matilda will be taking in turns with what we're wearing and matilda i bought her a new pair of stitch ears and she will be wearing these to the ohana breakfast look how cute these are i'm sorry but look at this this, this is lovely and i bought these from aliexpress again don't shoot me but yes i did and these were 2.99 two pounds 99 not too shabby eh so i am pleased with the outcome of those matilda saw a pair in primark which is part of the 100th anniversary and they look like this 
they're quite cute. I did have to sew them up because Primark clearly um, not done their job properly. So I had to re-sew all of this tiara on. And to go with them, I actually bought these really beautiful ear chain holders. Um, so this one is mine. It's Tinkerbell. She's so pretty. And you literally undo it, pop your ears into it, pop it back on, and you can then pop those onto any bag or bum bag, whatever it is that you are taking to the parks. And they sit really, really nicely in there. So I got the Tinkerbell one and I got Matilda, the Stitch one, shark horror. And I found the lady on um, Orlando Marketplace, I think it's called. It's a lady in the UK that embroiders these and makes them on a machine. I will leave her link down below because she was really, really lovely. So that's the ears. In terms of other accessories, I have, well, I haven't, Jake has. Jake's been into the loft and he's been through my memory box and he has found something really, really special that I get completely emotional about. And it is this Minnie Mouse bum bag. I'm sorry, how cute. She is an Animal Kingdom bum bag. Look at her little feet. She's very cute. Um, and I got this on my first ever trip to Disney um, when I went with my Nan and Gramp. So Matilda is going to be, I'm handing her over to Matilda and Matilda is going to wear her. But I'm sorry, she is the cutest. Look how old school she looks, look at her little face. Yeah, so Matilda's wearing that. I have bought um, autograph books that I have had personalised and I know some people like to buy the ones in the park and we've bought them in the past and they're really lovely um, but I just wanted to do some personalised ones for this time round and um, Matilda has a Lilo and Stitch one and it's got her name and the year that we go and then each page has actually got a different character which I thought was really lovely too um, so that's Matilda's and Blake loves Peter Pan so I got him this one it's probably really hard to see on the camera but it is Peter Pan and it says Blake's autograph book and it's just white plain paper this time but that's Blake's they've not seen any of this either so all this stuff that you see for for the plane um all the autograph books, all the all the little extras, they have not seen because I just wanted to make it a bit more entertaining for them rather than seeing everything. Um, so that is the extras. So the last thing that I purchased that I'm going to show you um, that is a really random purchase, but I did read that because we're not doing, we're not, we really aren't doing any dining any sitting dining really we're doing quick service a lot of it is like uh wooden cutlery and the cutlery isn't really not that great and the straws aren't that great either the, the paper straws so i've actually bought this um little set now i've bought four of them one each and each set comes with a knife a fork and a spoon um, and they're quite sturdy actually, they're quite solid, um, which is really good. And then I have bought some plastic straws, not the flimsy, they're proper hard straws um, for us to use in the parks and it fits perfectly into this case and I can wash them out every evening. So we've purchased these. These were, I think, $5.99 for two off of Amazon on Prime. Um, and we will take those into the parks with us every day. And as you'll see in the vlogs, you'll see like other bits that I've bought that I've not included because we really would be here all night. So we have come to the end of the packing vlog. I know I've not shown the clothes, but I just, I, we, there is so much stuff. I just don't see the need to just show you everything. I think you'd be bored by now, but if you stuck around this far, then you've done really, really well. Um, so I think that is it.
So with that being said, I am going and the next time you see me will be travel day and I am so excited to be getting on that plane. So here's to the next one. See you soon.